Bitch, I don't need to stop. Please in the sheets. <laughs> Liar! Money hungry. Preachers. Money hungry. Yeah. Teachers. <laughs> Money hungry. Money hungry. Preachers. Yeah. Dang that. Dang that. <laughs> Yeah, we here at Atlanta, WAC Love 86. It's your boy, Elder Casey, and we're in the building talking about being a brother's keeper. We riding out, we got the big, uh, my big Deke, Deke and P in the building. Deke, you doing all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Hey, hey, that, that Gino Jennings, boy, you know how to hold that hell <laughs> in that liar, boy. You was a <laughs> Now, 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 I'm just saying, now, now, how far should one go, uh, D, as being a, a, a brother's keeper? D does a brother, um, let's deal with this, in Christ. Does a brother in Christ, in Yeshua, that's walking the faith, that's claiming to be a believer of the Bible, walking the way, how much authority does he have to, to hold another brother um, accountable? <laughs> Yeah, you got the, if, if you're a true believer, you got the kingdom in you. You got plenty of authority. All right. Um, hey, the book of Proverbs, I don't remember the exact book, but it says the uh, harsh words of a friend are better than the, than the kisses of an enemy. All right. <laughs> so, uh, there's some very harsh words that were presented in that video clip. And, uh, you know, hey, I don't know what was in the heart or the mind of Pastor Locke. Only he knows him and the most I know. But I know within my circle of friends, they all have different personalities. And if I love my brother and I want to see them doing right, I have to know my brother's personality, I believe, in order to know how to try to get through to them. You know, first, you know, of course, the, the word says we should correct somebody in gentleness. Mm -hmm. But, you know, hey, I believe in, in that tough love, you know, and might have to step it up a notch. You know, not everybody receives things the same way. All right. You know, but, but like I said before, hey, it all depends on, I, I don't know if you're asking me from the standpoint, does he consider Kenneth Copeland and Olsen, his brother, or... Okay, well, uh, well, 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 let's do this then. Hey, check this out. Go check ahead. this out, Elder. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 Yeshua told the disciples to go to Israel, right? Uh-huh. Hey, but then he said, if they don't receive the gospel, shake the <laughs> dust off off your sandals. And, oh. and the dust is considered as like they're defiled because they didn't receive the gospel. So how can they be your brother... If they don't receive the gospel, if they living in willful sin. Mm. Uh oh, uh oh, we getting somewhere. We we getting somewhere. Listen to it. Listen, listen, Atlanta. Call in. I need to hear somebody else on this question. Four zero four three five five eight six nine nine. Telephone lines are still open. Four zero four three five five eight six nine nine. Can you be a brother in Christ and be in willful sin? <laughs> 